chicken adobo for today's lunch and it smells really good guys hello wonderful people so today's video i am going to bring you in another episode of my countryside life here in luilo I clean my husband's nail. I do manicure and pedicure to him. And of course, he, we went to a barber shop. And we went to the city to do a couple of things. On our way home from SMCP and this couple of Indian guys or people is sharing some water to uh, every buses that um, stop stop here close to the terminal of uh, Ceres so they're very generous thank you so much guys for sharing this water since it's very hot here in Iloilo guys I cannot but I know for sure you guys know how hot it is here in Iloilo. Come on!
today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? Again, in today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? Thank you for that interesting question. In today's generation, a woman should stand for her purpose and her determination and to inspire other people. In my story as a single mother who gave birth four months ago, my purpose is to inspire each and every Pototani out there who are silenced because of what has happened within their lives. I have stumbled, yet continued to endure and believe that I will conquer because of my purpose. And this is what I stand for as a modern woman. Thank you. Thank you. They enjoy loud music. But a question, I want a playlist. We're curious, but maybe we can find out later. This time, let's um, talk to our next finalist. Candidate number three. Right. Candidate number three, we shall give you the chance to read it silently. Then we shall read it to everyone twice before you get to answer. Okay. This is your final question. Okay, your question is, in today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? Again, in today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? A modern Pagatanan should stand for what is morally right, morally right, uh, despite the people saying to you that you should do this, you should do this. It's, it's up to you how you should... Um, um, thank for what is right because Hello? Okay, so at this time we will give you your final question and you may read it silently and after that we will read it for the audience and to the judges. Here is your final question. In today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? Again, in today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? At 10 years old, I faced a pivotal moment when my father passed away. And then, um, um, I heard my mother's silent strength amid her tears and sufferings. And with that, I want to be a voice for single moms because at the end of the day, they will be the ones who will, call, who will cultivate and mold another modern Pototanon women who will be who will contribute for the progress and navigate for the development and sustainability of Pototan to, to bring Pototan into greater hands. And with that, I want to stand for single moms as my mother is a single mom and I have witnessed how she was able to rise and stand for us. And I stand here as a woman that she has turned to become a woman of courage and resilience. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. You may now go to read it to you twice for everyone as well. Here is your question. Again, your final question is, in today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? Again, in today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. In today's world, I believe that a modern woman should stand for the term, I am revolutionary. I am politically aware of the recurring and revolving issues on our society. She is firm with her stance. Therefore, she is clothed with strength and dignity, secure, and will never be afraid of the future. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you, Fourteen. Oh, 
this question. In today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? Again, in today's world, what do you believe the modern woman should stand for? I believe the woman, modern, the modern woman should stand for is equality. Each and every one of us has the right to improve ourselves. And also as a tourism management graduate, I know that every modern Patakanan woman can offer and promote, I can help them promote our municipality. And also like what I said earlier, I am a woman who believes in inclusivity, that each and every one of us can promote a greater impact to our community. Let us back each other's warrior spirit and by forging the tagline, We are one Putaka. I have spoken. Thank you, Catherine, number 14, our final finalist, our top five finalists. Ms. Rosaline Patriarca, S.B. Donovan Mendoza, of course, our Miss Potara Charlie 2023, Shalron Rose Alejandro, and Maria Cristina Isabel Amido. We have two remaining titles, Miss Potara Charlie 2024, and Miss Potara 2024. Now, partner, we will announce the Miss Potara Charlie 2024. Miss Potodan, Sino Miss Potodan Charity? What number? Candidate number! Your Miss Potodan Charity 2024 is Candidate 
number candidate number 14 and Vice Mayor Tomas Peñagurina. And to crown our best photo of 2024 is Ida Hukaban, Mr. Jake Kukin, and Ariana Sobel Peron, and of course... Guys, it's my first time to see this kind of corn is inside of this pocket. It's supposed to be only one, but I, I can see another, another corn is coming. Look at that one and this is like the old one and this one here is pretty thick pretty big look at that beauty look at that beauty here you can also nice Oops, coming through. Hey, Pong Pong. And take a look to my beans. They are pretty big and long now. Wow.
my husband. We got some pasta and fish and vegetable. So the vegetables. We have some fruits. Of course, I have some rice. Of course, this is what I have, guys. Fish soup and rice. Let's have lunch, guys. Filipino food versus Western food. <laughs> You should stay there on the other side that day, oh. Okay, okay, go ahead. I'm sleep, bro. Sleep, sleep. This is...